viewers today i'm going to tell you how to remove the closing error in a closed traverse during prismatic compass survey uh, before this video i have uh, uploaded another video uh, telling how to correct the errors due to local attraction in forward and backward bearing so you can see that video before coming to this one uh, this here I'm I, I will just show you how to plot this reading uh, these values of forward and backward bearing has been collected from with the help of a prismatic compass and this other lines of a closed traverse as you can see here we are starting from B and ending uh, starting from A and adding at A so this is basically representing a closed traverse and um, this are the values collected from prismatic compass forward bearing and backward bearing forward bearing basically represent uh, when you are uh, citing the line AB from A position and backward bearing is uh, the bearing that you get when you are citing from B to A for the S for a given line then again you have to collect the data on the length of the line uh, using a tab so here I have uh, given some lengths for this the, these lines and these measurements are in meter so once uh, in order to plot it in a piece of paper you first of all have to reduce this length to a suitable length uh, sometimes the length the scale the RF is given and in the case you have to reduce this length with respect to that particular RF uh, otherwise you can just plot it with a reduced length uh, suitable for that piece of paper where you are plot plotting so in this case I'm um, taking a length or a scaled length as decided by me to plot in this paper okay so I will just write this length reduced length uh, as suitable for the representation so what we I, I will do I will just choose a scale which represent uh, where one centimeter represent uh, 50 meters on the ground okay so I will consider that scale to do the plotting so let me first put the reduced length here so this is what I have considered uh, I will reduce the length as this um, in my scale one centimeter will represent 50 meters or you can see this RF, RF is one is to 5000 and with that scale you can you will get these values for reduction okay the scale you can choose your own scale or as per the as per given in the question okay so here are the reduced length now we will use this reduced length and either of this forward or bear, backward bearing for plotting this traverse uh, so uh, for reducing the confusion we will use any of this any one of this so i will be using this forward bearing and the length for representation of this closed traverse so let me first do it for you so here is what we get after uh, plotting the reduced length and the forward bearings as you can see we are moving we have started from A and uh, we have considered 45 degree angle and we reach here that this length is 4.2 centimeters then similarly we have completed the circle now look here we have started uh, this is this was a closed traverse so according to the theory you have to end here because this was a closed traverse you since you have started from a you should end here but while representing this is the representation of that particular survey after representing you found out that you are not ending at this point instead you are ending in a another point called a dash 
so this is called as the closing error okay here it was it should close but it didn't close and there is an error of this much okay now this is called as the closing error so now you have to correct this closing error by dissimulate this distance in a particular ratio in all of these points okay so for that you have you first of all have to connect these two points a dash and a okay so here i have connected a dash and a now what you have to do is you have to draw parallel lines from each of these points and the line should be parallel to this line a a dash so we will draw parallel lines from each of these points and this line should be parallel to this a and a dash so here i have drawn parallel lines you can see these the lines are parallel and uh, from each of these points from point a b c and d so i have drawn parallel lines and these lines are parallel to this a dash and a okay so we will draw parallel lines from each of these points and this line should be parallel to a dash a now we will consider this distance since we have to assimilate this distance in all of this we will plot this in a particular here in perpendicular to the horizon okay so let us now this was the error that we found while closing okay so when we started there was no error as we move on the error increased and finally while closing we get this much error so this can be represented by the help of a diagram which shows here i will show you how much length we have uh, moved and what came uh, as a error error so let us consider the total length of this uh, traverse and we will uh, mark each of this distance in that particular length and we will try to consider that after moving that much length we found this much error okay so i will consider the length based on my length in meters okay so here maybe um, i can consider the length because i have to represent this in the paper so i will simply um, divide all these values with 100 so that they are representative uh, of each other and of the total length okay so uh, this is the thing when we started from a we had zero error and as we move to b c d e and then again a uh, we get this much error a and a1 so we have just used this line as a reference to the total length of the line here i'm considering um, that um, the length by you know dividing the whole length with 100 okay so here i have considered for for doing this for making this line i have considered this length as uh, 2.1 2.4 2.5 2.72 2.55 centimeters and this you can do as per your convenience as per your ability to plot in the paper since these are the values which are large i can use these values as well but these uh, values will exceed a straight line if i represent all these values in a straight line it will extend the limit of my page so i have further reduced this okay i have divided all of this uh, further so that i can get a line which is coming into my page okay so here i have considered that the uh, one centimeter in the uh, in the paper represent 100 yeah 100 meters so that i can get this length 
so as we move from a to a we get this much error now once i have erased this i will just connect this point and this point with the help of scale then i will mark here all the points b to up upper point b1 then i will connect connect this okay this lines i have drawn later so i will just uh, do the connection and i will mark at this one as d dash similarly e e dash now i will um, use all this small small distance to deflect my original points from the place where they are now located since i have already done this with the a since my a dash is moving this much distance and this distance is equals to this much distance so now we will do it with e so we will consider this distance we will first measure this distance and we will mark that distance deviating from east in the same parallel line we have plotted earlier similarly this distance in d will be plotted uh, will be deviated from the center d in particular in this direction since all our point points are moving from this point to the, the uh, other points towards the east so we will do it like that similarly this much for c c will be deviating only this much okay so we will plot this similarly b also so we, will, we are going to plot this values in the uh, plotting which we have done earlier so so here it is after the correction so this much distance have been reflected from the b point and we will get a b dash this was the b then we'll get b dash c c dash d d dash e e dash and obviously a is there only so uh, this dotted figure basically represent the actual plotting of the traverse a b b c c d d e and e a okay so this are uh, this is the correction of the closing since there was a closing error we have used this technique of representing the length of the traverse with the and distortion okay this basically this line the lower line is representing the length of the traverse the total length of the traverse and this is always taken as a proportionate figure okay we can't take it randomly we have to take this as a proportionate value of for this traverse and so we will get a proportionate value for each of these points now at the end there will be an error which will be represented by this distance a dash a now we will connect a and a dash after connection we will just plot uh, just connect this a and a e e dash with a line which is also running perpendicular to a a dash a a line okay so this much this is the error which we have to dissimulate to all the points so in order to dissimulation we have first of all drawn some parallel lines and we will deflect in the same direction since we have this was the error and this is the original point so this is the error point and this will be the er original point in the same direction we have to move we, we are not moving to forward direction since the error was here and the original point was here so we have moved in this direction so in for all of these points we will move towards this direction okay so and we will dissimulate each of this length here you can see this e e here it is e e dash this d dash d d dash c c dash b p dash and finally we will collect connect all these original points so likewise we can draw and this is the final picture that you will get uh, here are the values uh, from which we have plot done the plotting this is the reduced length which we will use for plotting this basically this line represent north and south okay we can use any of this line to plot it here uh, it should be parallel it should be parallel to the given then here is the scale which we have given then yeah. here is the scale and 
here is the plotting and remember this we have to plot here itself since my piece was a small one so I used another page but you, you have to plot it together okay you, you, you have to mention this scale this line, north line all of this and this correction also in the same page okay thank you